you have accidentally drunk some poison. There is a cure. You must drink the antidote. Most people would have no problem understanding that if you want to live, you must drink the antidote. You can't just believe it will cure you and drink the antidote later in a few days. Yet the same people who understand this struggle to understand that we cannot be saved without having our sins removed. Can anyone honestly make the argument that a person can be saved while they are still drowning in their sins? That is impossible because God cannot look at sin or have anything to do with it. Yet most people in the religious world will say all you have to do is believe in Jesus and you will be saved even though Jesus said, he who believes and is baptized will be saved. Mark 16, 16. Additionally, we learn that baptism is the point at which our sins are washed away. Acts 2.38 Then Peter said to them, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Acts 22.16 And now why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. We learn that baptism is the point at which we are put into Christ. Romans 6.3 Galatians 3.27 Where salvation and forgiveness of sins are found. Ephesians 1 7, 2 Timothy 2 10. This same truth is taught in Romans 6 and Colossians 2 11 through 13. Much more could be said about this, but we cannot be saved by belief alone. We must believe, John 8 24, repent, Luke 13 3, confess, Romans 10 9 through 10, and be baptized for the forgiveness of our sins, Acts 2 38 22 16. Peter agrees with Jesus because he also says that baptism saves, 1 Peter 3 21. Understanding that baptism is necessary for salvation and is the point that our sins are removed by the power of Jesus' blood is just as easy to understand that if you don't want to die from the poison you drank, you have to drink the antidote. Let's not throw logic out the window regarding spiritual matters just because our preacher, parents or someone else taught us wrong. All I am asking is for you to accept what God's word clearly says on this matter.